My fascination with other planets was sparked by, I guess, two kind of things. One was early in my life, about eight years old, I was given a space encyclopedia and I remember poring over it, reading it hundreds of times. There were pictures of Jupiter and Saturn and that was fascinating. When I started my A-levels and towards degree level, I started to read a lot of science fiction and science, academic science is great and I got loads from that, but actually the science fiction sort of sets your mind free a little bit and allows you to push forward and imagine where it might go. So although it started very early, I'd say it really blew up just before and coming into university and then it, it got huge and, and uncontrollable. The link with Engine House in particular came through some media work I did with Stargazing Life. They saw me on TV, they saw the output from my research and I think um, their initial sort of feeling was we can do much better than that, we can do much better than those visualisations. So they contacted me off the back of that. Engine House is an animation studio based in Cornwall and we create animations, visual effects, virtual reality and a whole kind of other things for different clients. The BBC, NHS, Sony, Transport for London and lots of other people. Working with, I suppose, Nathan specifically, was he's really passionate about this subject and you know, really enthusiastic and I think he really gets what the potential is, what we can do here, what, what we can really bring to, to the subject and how that can help bring it to a, a wider audience. The process of collaboration it can be quite painful. The process was at first was to just meet face to face and describe your vision. What is it you really want to happen? So finding a, a common language between the two areas of expertise, the academic research and then the people who are highly skilled in, in the programming behind the visualizations, that was a big challenge. It's complicated in some areas to find a common ground because there was some quite very technical and specific understandings of how some of these scenes played out. Uh, one of the planet had a large comet tail and sort of understanding how big that was and, and the shape of it was, was quite complicated. From a technical perspective, I think the most difficult things were creating, it's sort of somewhere between technical and creative in that creating something that's happening everywhere around you. So if there's points of interest all around. So it's, it's and sort of being able to tie that in with the information that we were given from Exeter Uni as well. My expectations were absolutely exceeded. I would say there's one or two very minor things that we had to compromise on, but in terms of the science that was communicated through the visualizations, in fact, it was excellent. We are really happy with the end result um, and it's performing really well on YouTube. So it made it onto YouTube's uh, VR channel and it is now also We The Curious's uh, most popular science video. I had a really good uh, response online and you know, just visually it's, it's absolutely brilliant whether it's still the 360 experience or even if we just crop it down to, to any kind of vantage point. It, just, it looks really, really nice. We're delighted with it. The project uh, we hope will be further developed by continuing on to make a trailer for a following like app or game that we can then use and put out online for use in education and to inspire young minds to, to get into the subject matter. The scope for expanding this is, is huge. I think we are entering an era where science has been demonstrated over the last few years that it needs to communicate more widely, demystify the concepts and involve people in what we're doing. And I think something like this, as inspirational as trying to find aliens, it is a real tool that we can use to involve people in what we're trying to do. And things like games and, and, and visual effects that can be shared via the internet, this is how people share things now. Um, this is the way it's done. So engaging with that, with that form of media is really important.